Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep this channel going. And with your support, I want to continue with Daniel Pintado Game Development Studio to help small developers to create their game in the easiest and cheapest way possible, helping to provide you with assets, animation, blueprint, and also my personal help absolutely for free. Also how to get grants from, for example, Epic and Kickstarter or even how to publish your game in different platforms like Steam, Epic, etc. And you will not have to give me credit, commission or anything. So there will be some guidelines to follow for the order or the project to help. You only have to enter to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and in the upper right corner and click in the link. Or in the description of this video you will have the link. At the end of this page, you will have questions and answers already answered by me about the YouTube channel and the project, and I will be updating this page with new and content, so stay tuned. So if you want to help me with this project, you only have to enter in my coffee page and donate the amount you want, or you can be a member for exclusive content and support. You can also hire me as a freelancer to advance more faster or if you want, I can create a complete game for you. I will be updating this membership with new exclusive content and more stuff. And if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in your project or maybe you need help in the tutorial or the tutorial is not working for you or you have a request video or something, you can talk with me in the Discord. So thank you for watching and let's start the tutorial. Okay, so I am here with another request tutorial. So a lot of people ask me how to kind of still improving the performance of your games because sometimes it still is not performing the really you want it. So I talked about before how to reduce a uh, texture quality, but some people ask me how they can do this uh, to still looking good the best possible and also to be optimized about in the game so i want to talk about um, how to make from the scratch uh, mid maps so this way you can have the best quality possible from close but when you go far away they're gonna be more blur so because they're gonna give you a less texture quality depending on the distance of the object so i want to so you have to use it properly and also have to do it from scratch because I see there is not many tutorials about this. So let, let, let's do that that way. Okay, so let's do it from scratch. So I have two textures here. The, this is from the starter uh, content. So I just put it away. So it's more easy to uh, show you how the process. We have the um, diffuse and also we have the normal map. So we can create a new uh, material if we, we want it, but it's a little trick I want to show you for Unreal Engine 5. I don't remember if they do it for Unreal Engine 4, but if you take one of these and you drag in your level, whatever you want to put this texture, automatically they're going to uh, create this material. So you can see they automatically put whatever they want it, so they know where they need to be. We don't want to use alpha, so we can disconnect this, so automatically we have this created for us. So they're really uh, convenience for real. So that's awesome. So we have this material, so let's put this out away. Because, oh, we can leave it like that. It's okay, let's put it there. Um, also, let's put it in here. In here, and in here. So we have all this material, okay? So let's see first how this texture is working. So we have here is a 2K texture. So they use it perfectly. You need to be uh, using this uh, L LOD BS. So they want to use it from the mid map. So let's do that. So let's go to the uh, this one too. So check how this is working. So it's the same. Okay, so let's create this one. So first we need to select both of these or the texture sample you wanted for this. I need to go to mid value modes select these two relative to component mid level so they're going to be re relative from the distance from the camera so let's do this so automatically they're going to add this uh, tab here so for doing this you need a constant vector from here but if you want to use it from 
uh, instance, so you want to change this texture later, you can use a uh, scatter parameter. So let's do that. So they're going to be more easy to adjust whatever we want. So let's go to BS. Then put it here. And let's put here a scalar parameter. So uh, let's call this DP my max. So let's do it like that. You can put the default value you want. I want to go for uh, zero so I can show you better how this works. So let's connect these two things. So that's it. We have everything already done. So let's save it. And let's see what, uh, how this is working. So also, you need to remember that they need to be here in the mid-gen settings. You need to select this, uh, whatever you want, access the no me maps. So if you use in Sarpent, it's gonna be okay. I believe I know 100% about this, but if you use it, whatever, they're gonna work. But if you go to no me maps, they're gonna, they don't wanna work this system. So I wanna leave it like default like that. So let's do it like that. So now if you go play, no, let, let's put some value here. Let's pull zero first so to check it. So let's go play and we can see this texture. They don't have no chain at all, but if we go inside the material and let's put a value around one, if we are saving this, let's go play. And now we can see it from closing. When you go far away, they're gonna be more, um, less uh, quality. So we can see them better if it, there was better scale here. So let's do that. So in here, let's plus uh, from here, let's drag this and put um, coordinate, uh, texture coordinate. So let's go like this and let's connect this in all uh, texture samples. So this way we can mo uh, modify the texture in your level. So let's close this. We don't need any more. So in here, let's have this for reference. So if I go here and I put, for example, um, two by two. I go apply. You can see they automatically change this stuff. So let's uh, one more less. So let's put a four by four. Let's save it. So now you can see the texture change a lot. So let's close this. Let's go play. So now we have better texture. I don't know if you can notice the blurring. So if you want to see it more, we can go really heavy here. Let's go to, I don't know, five. So that's gonna, you can see it right here, this rocking uh, heavy. So let's put this in here. And also I go play. So now if we go closer, you can see the texture, they're gonna be better. Uh, this is really good for performance, like I said. So a good way to do this, uh, for me at least, I like to board this with a small number because uh, we don't want to too heavy. I think something between one and two is really okay. That depends what you're looking for. But if you want more quality, you can even go less than this. You can go like uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, whatever value you want it, they're gonna be less drastic, the, the down scaling. So I think the best is going to be one because you don't even know it. So uh, also there is a parameter, for example, I make it for parameter. For example, if you want to be in this one, have just uh, from uh, number one because we want to be more smooth. But for whatever reason, in another um, uh, wall, we want to be more drastic. We can just go here. I'm going to select this, okay. create material instance, and here we can put different values. Let's go the map, say go five. So this child, they're going to be more strong. So we can use this for another thing. For example, we can use it for this one. So we want to be the one better for performing. You can see right out of the way. So that depends on the closing you want it. So this is really good for performing because you don't need to um, low a lot of textures so that's it for the tutorial so 
I hope you learned something new about how to working with the textures. So uh, thank you for watching and if you want to support me you can go to my Discord page or you can subscribe to my coffee channel so you can have if you are a subscriber you're gonna have exclusive stuff for example um, project files from these tutorials and also exclusive stuff like for example you can see the video before it's published anything like that so thank you for watching like you said and see you in the next tutorial so bye bye